comes from Rex, who wrote in asking us, I was wondering if you could do a segment on how to best post an RSS feed. I'm looking into starting a video podcast, ooh, competition, and could really use a good overview of RSS posting tools. I'm using a Mac, and I have an extremely low budget. Rex. Hey, Rex. Well, the easiest and freest method for posting RSS feeds, in my opinion at least, is to use FeedBurner. Um, it's my favorite since it'll recognize blog posts with media content like audio or video files and then send those out to iTunes or whatever aggregators people are using to bring in your feed. Um, so as you can see here, we've got it up. Let's do, I don't know, Sword and Laser, for example. That's what I use. I use FeedBurner for Sword and Laser, so... I know it'll work. You can even push that little button there that says, I am a podcaster. <laughs> I am a podcast. I am a podcast. And so are you. We'll select the RSS feed. It already shows RSS feeds because I use Squarespace and they automatically generate feeds for you. So you don't even need to use FeedBurner. I see WordPress, a lot of the blogging platforms. WordPress will do, do that, that too. too. Blogger will do it. Almost pretty much every blogging platform I can think of, unless you have like a weird wonky theme, <laughs> should automatically generate. I mean, that's the whole point of having a blog is that it's, you know, easily syndicatable, as they say. Um, they're burning the feed. They give us an option to change the feed title if we want. We don't want to. We'll change it to, let's do it to feed industry. Hit next, and then you've got your feed. So you can click on it, and you can see all the uh, the feed items within that feed. And what I really like about about um, FeedBurner, as I mentioned, is that it will pull out all your your audio files, your media files. We don't have the plugin installed here, so you can't really see what it would normally look like. But it would give you a little player built right into the feed, um, so it separates that from just regular text posts. So you don't have to like forcing somebody to download a giant file every time you post to them unless they subscribe to something like iTunes or a media aggregator or some kind. Well, yeah, I mean, it'll show up It'll show well. up in Google Reader just like any other post, but it'll also um, pull the media-related posts into the aggregators, so it recognizes it as being the feed for a podcast. Okay. So if you have files attached, like video files or audio files, it, it knows that and knows you're trying to syndicate those out to the aggregators. And so it kind of tells them this is a, a, a media post. So basically, like, really simple syndication is just automatic. You, they basically, you post a list of links to your site that get pulled down by an RSS reader. Basically. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's really simple. <laughs> it just seems too simple. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and they've got great statistics. I mean, they're owned by Google, so you can get tons of different stats on your feed, where people are coming from, what aggregators they're using, all sorts of different data. <laughs> so that's why it's my favorite. spoofing and telling Google that they're doing. Yeah, the only thing that drives me crazy is that friend feed actually really pumps up your stats in a way that's probably not accurate. And grossly inaccurate. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one thing I've noticed. I'm like, ooh, that's a little too many people coming from friend feed. I don't think they're all actually listening to the podcast. Well, anyway.